guys, it's Ed Barton here from crushsocialanxiety.org. I'm here in Regent's Park on this beautiful sunny morning and I wanted to talk to you today about the social anxiety epidemic which is currently sweeping Western Europe and North America. At present, 15 million adults in the USA are struggling with social anxiety and social anxiety disorder and that's just the people that feel well enough to contact a healthcare professional. Most people are far too anxious to even do that, to even pick up the phone and contact a doctor. In the UK we don't have exact figures but it's estimated that some 10% of adults here are struggling with social anxiety and social anxiety disorder and in the EU some 60 million people are struggling with anxiety which makes anxiety disorders the most prevalent mental health condition. So if you are going through the struggle with social anxiety just as I was in the past you are not alone. You might be sitting there at home watching this video thinking that you're some kind of a freak, some sort of a misfit thinking, you know, why can't I do those things socially that I see other people doing? Why am I so different? But I don't want you to think like that. You really are nothing special in some sense because these figures have now reached epidemic proportions. Of course, some of these things are going to be personal issues, things in your own psyche, your own psychological makeup, issues such as self-esteem, self-love, self-acceptance, the messages you were given growing up issues within your family that you've internalized and that kind of thing. But we're now looking at something that is far larger than that. We're looking at a socio-cultural phenomenon and it's got sociological factors behind it which are driving it. Things like the breakdown of traditional communities, religious communities, you know, a sense of community in the area where you live. Also extended families have broken up, we're more isolated, we're more atomized, we live far away from grandparents and you know other members of the extended family. The rise of technology is playing a role as we spend more and more time you know chained to our screens rather than outside forging face-to-face -face bonds. Social media is also a key driver of this as we compare our lives to other people's you know the amount of friends that we have on Facebook, the amount of followers we have on Instagram and we make these comparisons, we feel more and more isolated, more and more lonely, therefore we spend more time online because we feel, you know, lonely and then this drives things in a vicious cycle and we're seeing among um, teenagers at the moment record levels of social anxiety because they're seeing all these images on Instagram and Facebook and all of this stuff, you know, this guy has got 15,000 friends, uh, followers, this guy's got 1,500 friends, I've only got 200. Look at their lifestyle, look at their bodies, you know, I feel inadequate, I feel less than. That is what social anxiety, uh, sorry, social media, not social anxiety media, can do for us and do to us. And Instagram has recently been shown to be a particularly dangerous form of social media for this. So these are some of the socio-cultural elements to it. You know, I've talked in other videos about the psychological and personal issues that drive it, like low self-esteem, inferiority complex, lack of self-love, lack of self-acceptance. There's all of that too. But the message of this video is just that what we're talking about is not something wrong with you. You're not sick in the head. You're not going crazy, okay? There are millions upon millions of people dealing with this. It's a, it's a worldwide epidemic so do not feel alienated do not feel like you are a misfit or you are less than and if you haven't sought help because you know you, you you felt shamed about this or embarrassed about this please I would really implore you to go out and and seek help if you haven't done already because you know unfortunately you're not anything special just you're just another part really of this epidemic that we're seeing um, worldwide and especially in industrialized Western, Western societies, Western Europe and North America. So that is the main message that I wanted to bring to you on this beautiful sunny morning in London. If you haven't sought any help already, please do so. If you're, if you're fighting hard in the struggle like I was for so long, stay strong in that struggle, keep fighting, you will come out of it 
Um, you will come out the other side, you will come out of it a better and stronger person than you thought possible and you will be living a better and more enriching life than you thought possible as well. So stay strong and I'll speak to you guys all very, very soon.